Browning launched the new A5 semi-automatic shotgun in 2012, folks were instantly drawn by its name and physical resemblance to an old favorite, the Browning Auto 5. The signature humpback autoloader had indeed returned, albeit with modern styling and new inertia-actuated guts. And while the new A5 is similar to the old Auto 5 in name and looks alone, ever since that initial launch, Browning fans have been clamoring for the release of another modern adaptation of a famed Auto 5, the Sweet 16, and Browning has come through. Welcome back to Sunday Gun Day. This week, we're taking a look at the all-new 16-gauge Browning A5 Wicked Wing Sweet 16. A familiar sight in the wing shooting world of yesteryear, 16-gauge shotguns all but fell off the map when, in 1989, the newly created National Sporting Clays Association finalized its rulebook, and the 16-gauge didn't make the cut. As much as waterfowl and upland hunters favored the lightweight and relatively light-thumping 16-gauge shotguns of the time, including the Browning Auto 5 Sweet 16, clay shooters pressed the trigger more than bird hunters, and ammo manufacturers began to phase it out in favor of the more cost-effective 20-gauge, ultimately resulting in a halt to new firearms production to match. Today, with a combined effort from both the firearm and ammo world, the 16-gauge is back, and though skeet shooters might still never realize its potential, over the fields and through the woods of America's game lands, hunters are relearning what our grandfathers once knew, that the 16-gauge is a hell of a fouling gun. Chambered for two and three quarter inch 16 gauge shells and able to launch one and one eighth ounces of number six lead shot at pheasants and nearly an ounce of steel at waterfowl, the Browning A5 Wicked Wing Sweet 16 weighs in at only 7.3 pounds, much less than most modern 12 gauge waterfowl shotguns, making it an easy carry in the dove field and a pure delight in the duck blind. Built to appeal to waterfowl hunters, the Sweet 16 gets the Wicked Wing treatment including Mossy Oak Shadowgrass Habitat Camo on its composite stock and forearm, and a durable, burnt bronze Cerakote finish on the 26 or 28 inch barrel and humpback receiver, on which Browning has laser etched the Browning buckmark and Mossy Oak Camo pattern. The operating handle and oversized bolt release are also Cerakoted, and a push button safety is located behind the Browning Gold trigger. For sights, Browning added dual beads to the ventilated rib, a white mid bead, and a red fiber optic front pipe, perfect for lining up fast-flying teal as the sun breaks the horizon. As for chokes, Browning utilized its extended Invector DS choke tubes designed to mimic a goose leg band and includes three tubes, full, modified, and improved cylinder. Running this train is Browning's kinematic drive system, an inertia-operated system that utilizes recoil rather than gas to cycle the action, resulting in an extremely reliable system that delivers less punch on the shoulder. Add to that Browning's Inflex recoil pad, and you've got a light kicking gun that shoulders and points perfectly, yet packs a heck of a punch on birds. Browning's effort to create an uber-balanced gun shines when you shoulder the Sweet 16. Browning dubs this as Ergo Balance, a blend of the shotgun's zero point of impact with a legendary humpback receiver and flat rib barrel design to give the shooter a larger sight plane. A larger sight plane means less opportunity for shooter error, and ultimately, more birds on your strap. Easier on the shoulder than a 12 gauge, yet packing more pop than a 20. If you're a serious waterfowler looking to tote a light recoiling yet plenty powerful shotgun that performs flawlessly and swings beautifully with a 100,000 round guarantee to back it up, the A5 Wicked Wing Sweet 16 might just be for you. For more information on this Sweet 16, which comes at an MSRP of $2,229, please visit browning.com. For more Sunday Gun Day, any day of the week, Check us out at AmericanHunter.org.